So today I want to do a quick tutorial, really quickly, about my live setup that I did. This is an all-natural tank, vivarium. Uh, I have two Copes tree frogs. I have a unnamed tree frog somewhere in there as well. He's hiding. You're not going to see him. I know where he's at, but you're not. We're not going to see him. And I also have a fire belly toad in here. I do have a water frog in the water wet side of the tank, but I will be removing him as I'll be adding more tree frogs. Um, tank's a little dirty from condensation and mist, but other than that, it's a 55 gallon tank. I have uh, dual hoods on here right now. I have plexiglass blocking off entering the um, middle of the tank to create more moisture in the tank. I have a UVB bulb on this side and then I have a plant aquarium bulb on the other side. And what I do is I'll switch from side to side depending on which side of the plants look like they need more growth which right now is currently this side which these aren't looking too hot on the bottom side where the light's not getting to them. But other than that, the vine's growing very well. This ivy's been in there for a while. Got a lot of new growth up here. Um, there's one of my Copes tree frogs right there. You can see him. Um, and then I have another Copes tree frog hiding somewhere in the mix here. A little guy, which we're gonna come from the top here. We can see him right, right there. Little guy up at the top there. And then uh, the larger ones right there. Also have a fire belly, which he's right there hiding. And then I did the, um, this is two different forms of moss. It's a thicker, thicker, bulkier moss that's in there. And then I have a thinner, traditional style moss on the other side here. Uh, glare is creating some issues with the flash on the uh, video. But, so you can see that I did um, rocks, sand, and earth, topsoil. Uh, put some rocks in here. I have the monsoon, uh, exoterror, um, spray system in here which I would advise it's an awesome system and then I have a, another side over here where there's water I created a waterfall effect by using an under underwater sump filtration system which is awesome uh, custom built everything myself me and my brother it's a granite wall it was all hand cut and and uh, siliconed in with a divider we have some river rocks down there I'm going to be cleaning the water up and adding some guppies soon. Uh, just basically increasing the life in the tank, just bringing more natural things in the tank. There's crickets running around. There, there's all kinds of things going on here that you can't see as well. Um, and then the monsoon system is right there. Awesome, awesome, awesome unit. Love it. Uh, you're going to spend a little bit more money for it, but it's well worth it. I'm going to cut it on in a second here. If you give me a moment, I gotta try to put the unit on. And then uh, we're gonna see it's gonna spray two sides of the tank. There's uh, two jets in there. And they're, they're gonna spray away in there. And uh, it gives the tank great natural rain effect going throughout the whole thing. So, very cool setup. Uh, love it. I've been enjoying watching the frogs move around and do their thing and watching the plant the plant life grow and stuff in here. Very simple to do if you're willing to spend a little bit of money and spend a little bit of time and give it that effect. As you can see the frog is absolutely loving being sprayed down right now. It's a really cool thing to have going on here. Uh, this natural setup. So for anybody who uh, trying to do something like this this is definitely a cool thing to do like I said it just involves a little bit of time but other than that well worth it so I hope you enjoy and that's it